Today, we're going to talk about the three most common causes of tennis elbow at the club level. If you have tennis elbow, you want to avoid these three things. The first thing that you want to get away from, if you're doing this, stop immediately. Thumb up. If you're a thumb upper, whether you're hitting your backhand, okay, or your volley, we see this relatively common on the volley. People like to put their thumb up, it helps them stabilize the wrist a little bit. What this does is it makes your elbow the pivot point. It, with the thumb up, it makes your elbow the pivot point so that your elbow is absorbing the majority of the shock in the shot. So you definitely want to avoid this. This is one of the things, again, I'm not a doctor. These are just things that I see from an everyday standpoint working with our students. Thumb up, has got to go. Number two, hitting the ball late. So this can actually create golfer's elbow, elbow or also tennis elbow, which is more commonly on the exterior of the joint here. Golfer's elbow is more on the inside of the elbow. So hitting your forehand late is also a cause of this. So if you're hitting the ball back here, we don't have any leverage. And you can see just from that standpoint that if I'm impacting the ball behind my body, most of that racket torque all right, and the absorption is going from either the inside of my elbow. Now, the reason that sometimes the outside of the elbow could be hurting is that when people hit the ball late, they then try and turn over the ball to make up for the racket angle. So this scenario right here is not a great stable position to be making impact with consistently. It's gonna either give you a lot of issues on the inside of the elbow and or the outside of the elbow. Lastly, and this is a big myth with the forehands, stop trying to come over the top of the ball when you're hitting. It's impossible. The, the ball is only on your strings for a fraction of a second. So we see a lot of club players, when they hit, they're trying to over-rotate and get on top of the ball in order to close the racket face if they're trying to create more topspin. This is also a myth. It's not possible, and it only is going to create more damage for you with your elbow. When I'm doing this, as I'm rotating over the ball, you can see that as I'm doing this, okay, I'm just wearing down the rotation of my elbow. The tendons that connect from the forearm to this point here are constantly rubbing when I do this over and over and over, which is then creating the inflammation, giving you the pain and the discomfort that you absolutely don't want.